<laughs> Sounds like a good deal. Mm -mm -mm. I think Matty, you joined. Yep, I'm Ka. The evening. Going good. How's it going with you two? The goods. Yeah. How's very, very, very up north? Yeah, it's all right. It's still pretty cold up here, even though we're heading into springtime. Mm. Yeah. Air fryer. Mm. Sorry. Weather's not too great. It's a little bit rainy at the moment, but. Yeah, it's been miserable. It's, it's been beautiful in the morning, and then the rain comes over in the evening. Uh, and it, and it just ruins it. Ruins it all. Even on the tropical south coast? I don't even believe it. Even on the tropical south coast, yeah. Even as far down south as I am. <laughs> so close to the equator. Yeah. Hey, if you get any further south, be in the water. <laughs> Very far south. But, yeah, else. No, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. That's all right then. If it's just um, standard now for you, the uh, chilly weather. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit tame, but uh, I don't know. I, sometimes I'd prefer it if it was just like snowy or something like that, rather than just a constant damp wet. Yeah, it could be worse. It could be a uh, a wet cold. Well, it is a wet cold, but it could be a dry cold. No, 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 no. Sorry, let me get my words out. It could be a wet cold. Yes, it is a little bit of a wet cold, but it could be like a constant wet cold. <laughs> yeah. Dry, dry cold. I don't mind. Got there in the end. Yeah, dry cold is definitely better. Yeah, you can wrap up and just get on with it. Huh? Mm, I um, don't know. I think it might have been last week. I mean, we're not too far off, are we? So 7, 14, 20, through, no. Let's say 5. 35 would be 5, 7. So not too far away from another horde night. Oh. Quite possibly. Uh, I think you and Ash were off doing stuff, and then Blicky was. You went further afield, maybe? Yeah, I found myself a town, which was good. Yeah, that's it, way out west. Um, it was quite out west, but there's a bunker, so if, if you were to go out there, if you swing by the bunker, you could probably put a bedroll down and then move on to the town. It might be uh, less um, dangerous. Uh, but there is a bunker actually inside the town as well, so if you're all the way there, you should slap one down over there. Okay, duct tape. Uh, yes, stick one down down there in case you died in town, which I nearly did a couple of times. <laughs> but no deaths tonight. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right, if there are no deaths mind. tonight, it will be uh, Ash's fault. But so we can blame it on Ash, all of it. It's all Ash. Um... At the end of last uh, 
time last week, uh, I died like two or three times because I, I was on my way back from the city and I got caught by a dog. Oh. So my stuff is still uh, being guarded by zombies. I was just waiting for daylight and I'm going to try and get it now. I'll come with you if you like. Yeah. I'm just building a mini bike seat. Maybe, oh, maybe you want a mini bike there so you can zip in, zip out. I'll let you protect me. Okay, you can protect. We can protect you. Uh, mini bike. One second. <laughs> yeah. Baltimore. No. What? What's that all about? <sighs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah, the ship, uh, cargo ship lost power or something like that and just crashed into a big, big, big bridge. Yeah, someone's getting fired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I think um, a few people might have been on the bridge when it when the ship hit. So oh, I don't know yes. if it was cars or if it was like they said there was some construction work going on. So yeah, not <coughs> yeah. Could have been a lot worse, but still. Well. Any, uh, have they said if there are fatalities and things? Not that you'd want them there to be, but it's... Uh... I think there's been a couple confirmed so far and they're probably expecting mm -hmm. maybe uh, 10, 8 to 10 or something like that, I think was a prediction. But... Uh, is it 72 hours if they don't find a body? So if it's washed down river or something, three days yeah. you might find it. I can't remember if they said that there was vehicles or whatever on the bridge, but um, yeah, like John said, it was, it was early in the morning, so it was like um, wasn't like rush hour traffic, and I don't know how busy the bridge would be even during the day. So yeah, if it's anything like our bridges, they're usually congested. Hmm, that's not good. Greatest country in the world. <laughs> yeah. They do like their big, like long bridges that just go across huge bodies of water. It did look like it was only maybe like a dual carriageway or you know maybe four lanes maximum it wasn't huge <sighs> that's probably why it fell apart so easily as well because it's quite thin but mm, there's a nurse over there there's a spider as well i think i heard well, oh, this is where my stuff is, so leave the guys. So we'll just say when. Is it further in, is it? Yeah. Future girls I like because they're easy. These big ones, these mows are. Yep, spider. Mows it down. Do you want to hand through the spider? Yeah, I don't really have anything to fight with. Oh, um, I'm 59 health, but I'm super thirsty. Apparently, I've picked up water. Handy. Oh, I've got some painkillers on me, John. Would you like some painkillers to bring your health back? 
I'll pop some water in this carcass here. And the carcass at my feet. And painkillers will make you thirsty and then the water can bump you up. How's your bag, Fox? Um, I think I'm coming up to it now. All these dead bodies from all the zombies I took down before they killed me. Ah, uh, yep, here's my bag. Looks pretty good so far. Or ATM, as kids might say. Did you have armor on previously? Um, I did. I think I had a whole set. It hasn't disappeared or... It shouldn't be able to disappear. But... Well, there's a policeman on the edge of the city as well. Some stuff. <clears throat> Some mm. stuff? Not all your stuff. Yeah, trying to figure out. Well, I'm Maybe I have another bag somewhere around here, but I can uh I can come back at another time. That's right, I don't know how long the bags last for, so <sighs> Do you it would just be around here, or did you come from near the city, maybe? Uh, I got to this part of the water, and then I was gonna work my way back along the coast, and I got caught by the zombies and the dog. Mm -hmm. So it was around this area. Okay. But, uh, no, I'm not, not seeing it. There's a couple of zombies heading in, by the way. Oh, wait. I think I might have got it. Oy. Oh yeah, this is it. Nice, it. okay. Alright, yep, we like that. Uh, a policeman spitting, John? Woo hey! Oh yeah, sorry, I've zigzagged back to get towards Fox. Hey, found it. Well done. Good job. You okay? Can I help you? You got one slowly crawling. Uh, you're taking off your coat and stuff. Do you have some stuff on here, which I can't? I can't take all of it. Uh, it's all my loot from the city as well. Um. Yeah, I'll come by. But I um, don't particularly want to hang around with a policeman, if that's alright. Yep. Uh, if you go towards... Go towards... I've, I've got everything, I've got everything. Yeah, okay, should we cool. bug out towards home? Yep. Count our, count our blessings. The water will cool you down if you can, John, or otherwise, yeah, just... Was it square and then R1? Square R1 and then yeah, just try and quick move your coat or something. Um, I can help with the normal zombie, but I'm not. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. See you later. See, if we were to build like either like a bridge or a tunnel to that block of flats. That's a lot of rooms to loot, but it's just not very high quality stuff in there. Yeah. Um, but isn't there a second block of flats right next to it? Uh, so I imagine that. There's something um, just beyond there, so we could bridge from one to another. It looks like a... I don't know. It looks like a block of flats. Then it looks like a shop. There's a cinema not... Or maybe a block down or something uh, like that. Yeah. So. So we probably could bridge across those in a daytime if you know, if we use like plates or or poles uh, le they're less likely to get stuck on and then that's like what four buildings that we could be looting I, I don't want to say safely but with more ease 
It's just like you say, whether or not it's really worth it if the quality of the loot isn't particularly yeah. good. Yeah, it'd be good for knickknacks, but yeah, we want schematics. Crate's not too bad. Um, gun parts, isn't it? I think gun, yeah, guns are books which we can find here and there. But yeah, the crossbow would be quite handy, and the hunting knife because we can craft bolts really easy. Ammo, not so much. Um, but the hunting knife for harvesting things, I've still got a bone shiv, which isn't very desirable. Um. Yeah, there's, yeah, it's one of those, like, there's a few things we could do. Like farming, getting a farm would be good to get potatoes and corn for the meat stew. Ow. What was this, uh, what was going on here? That, uh, that's ash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I asked at the end of last night and I, he gave me a half answer. Uh, he said it's because the mine comes out in that hole he wanted to create like a safe area but what I see and correct me if I'm wrong is zombies could spawn this size when we're in the house and just walk over here and just dig underneath towards the base but I didn't want to crush his little heart so I, I didn't say anything yeah. Uh, I was just gonna leave it and see what happened. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Alrighty. Okay. Um. Do you want me to pop, I'll pop your stuff in one of these cupboards, maybe, Fox? I'm not sure if there's anything really of note in there. No, um, there really isn't. Um, I think it was all just kind of junk from uh, the city. Well, it's good to have a couple of junk boxes. I might steal that level 11 wrench, though, if that's okay. I need yep. some car parts to carry on doing the um, the mini bikes. I need things like headlights, what not. Go ahead. Do you guys want to do anything in particular? Nope. Looking very good. You've done a great job. Try and bomb it to the bunker towards the west and then hole up there overnight and then try and move on and come in the morning. 
um, and try and do more of that town. I'll aim to get back though for night 35 or day 35. Morning of day 30, yeah, 35, I'll come back. Nice. Um, Fox, you're on last. What have you been up to? Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Weekend's your work shifts usually, isn't it? And then early in the week is your building shift. Yep, that's right. So, yeah, working over the weekend and then uh, tomorrow I'll be building stuff. Nice. Must be looking good if it's uh, so aiming to get it all plastered. My name is done the done the or doing the plasterboard. Uh, yeah, it's a big house, so uh, it's uh, still got a lot of work. But uh, the plastering might be this week. Uh, I think they finished off the plasterboarding end of last week, early early this week, maybe today or yesterday for the a couple of the top rooms. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a big, big house, big project, so mm. still, still another couple more months to go of work. Nice. Well, I suppose for the builders, because they cash in and you for experience, but then like your, your mum and co, they just want it done and move in. Or they, they sort <laughs> yeah. of pay sarah sarah. Yeah, um, yeah. I think uh, yeah, my mum would like to move in fairly soon, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see how long it takes. I think uh, yeah, they'll be they'll be busy in there for for a little bit longer, for sure. And you don't really want to start like doing finishing touches, like painting or whatever, because they're still going to be creating a lot of dust and all that type of stuff. So yeah. There's a limit on how much you can actually do in terms of making it livable. Are things like on order then? Not necessarily like your kitchens and whatnot. I assume they were on order and things, but like furniture, is that like due to be delivered and there are deadlines or is it not quite that stressful and to the no, point? Nah, I'm not sure about like, like living room furniture. I think the beds might be already sorted. And the kitchen design is already kind of picked out and ready to go. It just needs to be... I think the kitchen's one of the last things that's going to get done. So um, nice. that's kind of uh, just waiting. Um, and I think all the bathrooms are kind of picked out already. Just waiting for yeah. them to be uh, delivered whenever the builders give the go-ahead. So... Yeah, I think um, like if if the builders could like complete all the walls and get it all finished, uh, like by the end of this week, then most of that stuff could probably be installed like the week after. You know, it doesn't no. there's not much of a waiting time for that type of stuff. So yeah, it'll move along quite quickly. Post when, uh, COVID, now yeah. everyone's back up to scratch with their stock. Yeah, that's it. Everyone's kind of. Uh, um, I don't think there's been any delays in terms of, like, shipping in. Maybe, maybe some lumber issues for the builders mm. waiting on lumber. But yeah, I don't think there's been too many issues with anything shipping in like there was during the COVID times or post Brexit. Mm. The dark age. Immediately post Brexit. Yep, nice. that's it for me. Nothing else exciting. Um, nice. Sainsbury's still Sainsbury's. Yep, same old, same old. <laughs> yeah. I did have my discount card arrive today because they never gave me one when I first started, so I had to reapply for one. But uh, I think it's like. 10% off on a normal day, 15% off on payday, mm -hmm. and then something else, like 20% off for Argos, is, 
yeah. as well on payday. Something like that, because it's all owned by the same people, so... Nice. So notice there's... Well, ours has an Argos inside the Sainsbury's, but they've just opened a Costa inside the Sainsbury's as well. Don't know if that's a partnership or if there's a, some more going on there. Yeah. I think they've closed a lot of their cafes and replaced them with, yeah, Probably coffee cheap shops. Or, right out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Don't have to Outsource pay people's expense. wages or pensions and stuff like that. So. Cheeky, cheeky. Makes sense. There's Morrison's half near us. They still do though. They still got their own restaurant. I say restaurant, you know, it's like a greasy spoon cap, isn't it? But... Yeah, the ones local to us, Morrison's as well, which I quite like going to get a breakfast, but... Yeah. It's kind of like weather spoons, isn't it? It's kind of like cheap and cheerful, kind of, you know what you're getting. It's not particularly yeah. expensive and basic. There's always a market for that. Yeah. yeah. I know what you're signing up for. Exactly. Bloody blimey. I got one headlight out of. Well, this is going to be. Oh, hey, two headlights out of. Um, well, like stage two cars. You know, not nice cars, but they're like halfway to bust. Not loads of materials. Two headlights, one car battery, and some other knickknacks. Not great. There is enough parts though for someone to grab that uh, a mini bike. Um, did you want to set it up? I mean, you're the one going furthest to field, aren't you? So yeah. Uh, we got somebody watching. Uh, they said, yeah, a high level wrench will do it quicker, but a lower level wrench, it's every hit is RNG. Also, we've read. So the more hits you have, the more chances you have of getting goodies. So the quicker you break it down, the fewer the hits are, which is fewer RNG rolls to be given loot. So the lower the level, the better for loot. The higher the level, the quicker to break it down. Although I haven't seen that on the wiki, because the console wiki for this is has just been abandoned. I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, John or Fox. Nope. Yeah. No, I haven't really looked into it, but uh, I mean, what you're saying about the, the randomly generated thing makes sense about using the lower lower level wrenches, so might yeah. as well give it a go. Yeah, I'm, yeah the, the follow-up question was, is it the same for tools? And I don't know. It was only by chance that I came across the um, the wrench thing. Um, but then I, I haven't seen any like dev written evidence. But then they abandoned everything console many moons ago. Uh, so yeah, I, th I thought it was quite interesting. Well, you know, eh? yeah, might as well give it a go, trial and error, and I guess over time we'll figure out if it uh, makes sense or if it happens or if we notice a difference in the outcomes. Yeah. Um, what have you been up to, John? Anything particularly interesting? I'm sure everything is interesting. Nice. A taste of rat? Or did you go somewhere nicer? Yeah. Nice. Mal. Jade, is the one there, the Indian near us, Malchak, isn't it? Yeah, oh, apparently it's. Yeah, same name. There's two in it. The, yeah. That's good.
Hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. How's, um, did you go out for the football? That's not like you, John. Any excuse to get down the pub? Yeah. Hmm. Do whales have many big games? <laughs> Oils. Who are they against? Okay. Yes, so the Brazil game wasn't incredible. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't incredible. Uh, did you see any of the highlights? What did you watch it, Vox? No, I just uh, read read up about like the commentary and of what people thought of the game and I didn't even watch the highlights. Yeah. Which, you know, fair play, but it was... Yeah, it just wasn't overly convincing in places, anyway. So, almost a matter of time. They could have held off, but... Alas, they didn't. I, I just think, like, last time I watched um, England play, um, was it the World Cup? Was the the most most recent tournament? Because the Euros are coming up. So yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, they were getting the results, but it was just so boring to watch. And like one of the comments um, about the the Brazil game was literally, like, you know, it was it was a fair point because the the person just says that England play to not lose rather than playing to win, which just yeah. seems to be the case. Like for everything, they yeah, Gareth Southgate like he kind of gets results, but it's always like one nil or like penalties, and it's just like so dull for like ninety minutes of like football, and then they occasionally like squeeze something out. But, but yeah, it's yeah, it's not not exciting to watch most of the time. Uh, I guess they get the results most sometimes. Getting a win is all they care about. Doesn't doesn't have to be pretty. Yeah. If you get the win. And that's that's it with tournament gaming though, isn't it? It's literally just the win that counts. So no one's gonna forget. No no one's gonna remember who came third unless you're John mm. and you've enjoyed pub quizzes. <laughs> no one normal is going to remember who's like comes third. Like you remember who goes first, and you got to win to to get first. So. But yeah, it doesn't make for entertaining football. Mm. Um, that that was kind of the vein though. They uh, they he played chill well. Look, my wife, not mm, yeah, I suppose close. Not that I. Not that he'd care what I think. Well, my gripes would be that Chilwell played, uh, Gallagher, and there's someone else who I wasn't keen on, but I can't remember who. Oh, and I was a little puzzled. Uh, I don't know, was it Pickford? I don't know if it was Pickford. Although, he shouldn't really be playing. He, he needs to leave Everton if he wants to carry on, surely. But I can't remember who else played. Yeah, that's my gripe was. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot he was even playing. Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think. Yeah. We've got some. Like, Gordon looks pretty good. Newcastle chap. He looked pretty good. Um, the striker. Uh, I can't remember his name. It's not Watkins. He plays someone else. No, Tony wasn't playing. There's another chap from Aston Villa. He's second for goals in the Prem. Oh, it is Wonkins. Is that.? Oh, I don't know who I was getting confused with. But yeah, he, he wasn't particularly present either, really. It's just uh, it's not a very exciting attacking game. Brazil looked dangerous. With, um, sort of Rodrigo, a, a busy junior. Incredibly quick. What was my mate playing the uh, the guy in defence? Ah, Marquisio. No. Yeah. Not Mar yeah. 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 Marquisio. Um, something like that. I, I, I don't actually know. Ah, uh, is that it? Yeah. The guy who plays for PSG. Whatever his name. Yeah. Uh, no. He wasn't playing. Probably he playing. Playing. playing games probably. They had a centre mid that didn't get booked until he had um, he was called up for five challenges. He got booked on the fifth one and the sixth one, and he made like seven or eight, like not particularly nasty, but still challenges that the referee had to stop play for, and he just was not getting booked. It was really bad. You were saying next year bias? Well, no. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Like, if anybody else you know, is playing, they, they should be fixed. You've broken up play uh, on numerous occasions. It's not benefit the doubt or anything like that. Hmm. Well, I'm a little bit stuck in this bunker now. It's a bit boring at my time, isn't it? I'm downstairs, so I'll uh, come up and uh, give you a hand. Which, uh, are you at the back door or the front door? Okay. Yeah, the best side. Oh, yep, yeah. a little bit of action here. We've, uh, we've run out of watching Friday night dinner so we've started a little bit on the in-betweeners sort of here and there and this yeah I was a little bit anti because like, against watching it because I've just seen it so many times but they're just so funny still they're just so hard to beat yeah uh, and now we started watching the films they've ticked off number one yeah, you just died number two. Is it just like, is it feeling like the story of your life? Oh, absolutely. It, it's like, um, it's like looking. When my life flashes before my eyes, I imagine it's really just <laughs> yeah. like that. Just like yeah. the in between his episodes and then he's through to the movies. <laughs> Was it the oh, first the film weekend. that was filmed in Magaluf? Yes. They they, they don't go yeah. to Magaluf in the film, but it was filmed there. Right? Yeah, yeah, it it is. Yeah, Malia, Malia, Malia. Yeah, it's yeah. That's what it. They say it's Malia, but hundred percent, like a good chunk of that is filmed in Magaluf. Isn't it? Uh, I think it was around the corner from uh, Tokyo Joe's. Yeah, there's loads of places. There's a couple that we were in. Uh, did you even pop in for one at uh, Lindica's Bar? Or well, they don't film inside Lindica's Bar, but that's where they have their pathetic fight. Is outside Lind <laughs> Lindica's Bar and is it Ale Alexandria's or Alexandria or something like that? Then they're down by the beach. So when they're, he's selling all his clothes next to the Looky Looky Men. That's only around the corner from Fox's bar, and we had dinner there. So, yeah, so we've been there. Woo! Been there. Uh, good times. When we were young. 
Jade dug out some of the photos from our holiday and she said we all look so young. It was a long time ago. Very long time ago. We are pretty old. Oh yeah. Yeah, Friday night dinnering, in between a ring. Um, yeah, and just work. So this is the last week that I'm covering uh, the packing area, which is pretty good. I'm happy about that. Just because uh, the, the elements of the job aren't hard. It's just man management, uh, time management when you are um, against it. And, but then the people just make it harder, just for no reason. They just act like children. And these are grown men, nearly <laughs> twice my age. And it's just so frustrating. It's a little embarrassing. And I just, they just act out. It's, it's terrible. Um, so I'm looking forward to ditching them and dealing with their bosses more. At least they can give me the lip service and aren't rude and childish. They just don't do as I ask. Um, apart from that, I think that's about it. I got uh, someone stag do in Brighton on the weekend, which is good. Someone from uni. So that'd be good. Go parte. Is uh, Brighton still the gay capital of the UK? I haven't heard it changing. I think it was uh, competing with Manchester. Oh. On uh, Gay News Weekly that I uh, keep up to date with. That you subscribe to. Nice. Uh, I know, well, it wasn't, it probably was long ago because time flies and we're old. But uh, Birmingham took over from Liverpool for the is it diversity capital of the UK or something like that. Uh, Oh, maybe City of Culture, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so that changed probably more years than I'd like to have passed. Um, and then, what was it, a lot of the London banks and things like that, they're moving out into Birmingham because they've cotton told of uh, everyone working from home slash cheaper rent slash all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's probably good for the country because who wants to go to London? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And now it seems very much it's going to be your, well, lesser Russian now, but your um, Chinese or your businessmen, your multi-billionaires just buying up half a street worth of London retail and, and just going there to buy stuff, just going to the shops to buy stuff and... There was a meeting that we had the other day at Heathrow, I think I might have mentioned, the Navy. And they were saying that some of the, depending on where you go in the world, it depends on how many airlines they go, blah, 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 the size of the land strip, blah, blah, blah. But if you go to uh, certain places in the world, like the ones where they, it's just a country owned by a prince, an oil prince, he can go to London on weekends and literally his the entire uh, airline is just booked out for his shopping or his brother, his wife's or whoever's shopping. So you can, with all the will in the world, you can plan and you can schedule and buy your um, space for your goods uh, on that airline. But if he goes shopping and then decides, no, the whole thing is going to be for my shopping, you, you, they can't say no. He literally owns that airline or, or even that country. Uh, so that's quite an interesting sort of challenge. Yeah, yeah I heard because uh, when they stay at a hotel as well, like, they'll... Um, like they'll just buy like a whole floor, um, yeah. for some of like the Arab princes and stuff like that. And because they have like multiple wives and whatever, they'll have a floor for the women and then you know, a floor for the men or a floor to kind of mix, um, sort of if, if they need to. But, um, it's just yeah, insane amounts of money where they can, yeah, just, it doesn't even matter, just go ahead and just. Rent out a whole floor. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't bother them. 
Oh shit. A couple more years I'm sure we'll be at that level of well. Yeah, we just need to carry on dreaming. <laughs> I was brave. I got goaded out to go fight a zombie by our, our one viewer. And well it was only one it was only one zombie and I nearly cocked it up. On survival difficulty though, they're tough. They are very tough. It's just if there's like a secondary one or like one of the more specialist ones, like a spider or a dog or something like that, it really throws a spanner into the works for you. Yeah. yeah. It'd be interesting it if they had up. health bars as well. Just see how little our sledgehammers are doing. How was the um, odd wave at the base uh, during the night? Just brushed them off? Yeah, John, could, John took care of most of them. I was doing a, little, a few repairs as well. This is one of the, I, I did it because one of the blocks was like getting particularly low. The guy was only like one hit. Away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can give it a go. I can't imagine, I can't picture what you're talking about, so give it a go. And as long as we've got like Lucky's a full a base back expert. Option. Well. Uh, I think I put. Yeah, I put stairs. No, I didn't. I put ramps sort of inverted on the uh, other side but I've seen spiders climb up them now so it's probably um, I don't know if it's worth putting holes in, putting something else putting something else around it or, or just even a blank or what um, the guy asked if there was a feral outside and I hope I haven't missed one because I will <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll die. I will absolutely just, die. He's just toying with you, maybe, just making yeah. you think about it, making you doubt yourself. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to watch this stream now and see if... Oh, yeah, I see it out the corner of your eye there. <laughs> there it is. Sure, I shot that deer. I'm trying to do the... Um... I told you guys about it anyway, didn't I? Like the Skyrim Davery. So if you're sneaking up on an animal, like like yeah. Skyrim, yeah, if you like go into range mode and hit it with an arrow or something like that, as long as you're still hidden, it does double damage. Super handy. Yeah. It works in zombies as well. Um, but obviously they can fidget and things, so they're a little bit harder. Nice. Ah, oh, no way. There we go. There's, uh, there's a few around. Oh yeah, yeah, you've got a lot. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't want a feral to appear in uh, that mess. No. Nice. Right, so I'm nailing them though. There's. A few headshots going in, which mark is it? She's quite an easy one as well. Is that a one or is it? Yeah, nice. And a one -er. Easy.
I got a um, well, a half a chest, maybe two chests of um, goodies now in that bunker. I might make a trip over to come see you and pick that up and bring it back. Oh, that would be super handy. There's like a more valuable chest with some iron and gum parts, and then uh, a crap chest with like your knickknacks. I hate these ones. Ah. Oh. He's asked if there's just two of us playing. Does that mean that maybe John's mic or headset thing isn't tuned up? I know Ashes wasn't tuned up correctly the first time around. Yeah, so there's like a there's a Although there's um, the sharing settings to enable your voice to be shared on recordings, there's uh, in the actual chat, PlayStation chat, there's a setting for allowing it, your voice to be heard. Maybe you just can't broadcast. tell the difference between our voices. Uh, you, are, you are quite country, aren't you? No, we speak proper like and Ash is the farmer. Yeah. Cool. Team of four of us. Yeah, ordinarily. One flates, one's being selfish and gone away for his early birthday. Now, that's the point. Do you have any birthday plans for Nope. Uh, working. Oh, but you're the April Fool. Yep, next Monday. Less than a week. Exciting times. Yeah, getting old. Older. Older. Already so old. Um, nice. That's, well, not so nice, is it? Oh, there's something, something I was wondering as well. If, if, um, depending on when you're heading out, I don't know if you've got a date, um, but maybe we should do something similar to North Wales before you go. Uh, although, I don't know, it, it could be quite a rush whenever you get the, the go date for America. You might be off quite quick, but maybe we could do like a caravan holiday again. Or something small or whatever, Airbnb altogether. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. I'm not, uh, not heading off straight away, so uh, or it, it will, I'll know in good time. So, so uh, yeah, it shouldn't be a, a crazy rush. It's not like last time, I don't think. When I was going to Canada. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yes. Um, I need to scrap some stuff. I don't like scrapping stuff. Right, let's try and build a uh, chest then instead. Do I have enough for torches? Ah, you... Yeah. What a game. Hours Run over and see what Beletsky's up to. Do it. Get eaten by crawlers as well. Sure. So sneaky. And maybe during the night time, John, we'll have a look at the settings. I'll say have a look at them. Maybe try and talk through the settings and see what we're missing.
Ah, oh, nice. The viewer guy says that it, yeah, although it sort of does what I said earlier, where it gives you more rolls using a low level wrench, uh, it can. Oh no, yeah, that, that makes sense. This goes hand in hand with what I said. Yeah, the, the more rolls you have, the higher, the, well, the more chances of opportunities you have of getting the loot. But the more chances you have of getting loot, yeah, the, the more chances of higher quality. Then. So, yeah, that makes sense. That goes hand in hand. Good. Loading up on food and water, and I'm gonna start running and over to see you, Blackie. Excellent. Ah, oh, you can uh, take back my human turd if that's okay. Mm -hmm, delicious. I might mm -hmm. snack on that when I get there if I'm, st if I'm hungry. Yeah, strongly recommend. Uh, with this can you actually of... eat them? No, you can't. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> Filthy. But yeah, true. You can use them for fertilizer then. Which is super good for a farm and Massively increases the yield. Well, it doesn't massively, but on a larger scale, it soon adds up. Does it um, work similar to like bone meal in Minecraft, where it kind of uh, it grows it quicker, or is it no. just um, just, it just increases? Yeah, just yield. So most things. So if you plant it on normal ground, that's no good. You get a one for one for seeds, so it's just a waste yeah. of time. Uh, with tilled land it's usually one for two and with fertilizer it's usually one for three however there's a couple of crops like cotton and corn where fertilizer um where tilled does one for three and fertilizer does one for five uh, which is pretty pretty good so if you've got two plots of land and um you're doing one lot of potatoes in that one yeah. by five, which is well, 25, and you planted 25 corn seeds, you're always going to have more corn than potatoes. But then you need more corn meal for other things, so it's a good enough trade off. Uh, do we still need lots of cotton um, and leather back at home? Uh, leather for making armour. Cotton, I think, for medical stuff, essentially. Okay. I might hold off on the cotton then, and um, save some inventory space. Oh, I've got the hiccups now. Um, there isn't a good tool for getting cotton, um, so it's not like Ark where you have like a sickle to get herbs and oh no fiber sorry wasn't it in Ark? Um, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no, no specific good, tool. Uh, for that. Yeah, no tool for farming or harvesting. What I tend to do so I use the um, a knife because then usually knives are cheap. Uh, and then just using the knife, just just yeah, just using it on anything, even on a door, uh, gets up your blade uh, skill. Um, and or using your sledgehammer to break down doors and things like that, that will increase your um, blunt weapon damage. So like harvesting vegetation with a knife is more beneficial than with your hand. 
which is nothing because you're just harvesting, you're not even punching it. Um, so I thought that was quite handy. Like, it's, it's almost like uh, as much as you can on console, which is you know pretty good. It's like passive leveling. It's close to Skyrim leveling as as it can be, which I love. Just uh, if you like using the sword, use the sword and it will level it up for you. No uh, having to put specific skill points into it and things like that. Mm, that went just nearly dead. Oh, I thought I heard something. Sort of time. Oh, I can do another house. Maybe then camp in the camping in that latter. Oh, I need to upgrade the camping thing. I think I'm getting close. Maybe I ran into a little bit of a day hoard. Um, yeah, so you're close to me. Directly north is the bunker. Or you can keep going towards me. And then I'm here. There's a, a cemetery. Did you go in there? I didn't. I've looted a couple, and they're just disappointing. Um, I didn't loot all the graves, though. So there should be coffins and all the graves. Um, Interesting. Well, low level loot. Well, the highest level loot you can have. Maybe the odd gun or uh, fertilizer you can get from coffins. La 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 la. Okay, I'm at the town. Nice. So what I've tried to do is stick torches on things I've already looted. Okay. Um... Oh, lots of dead bodies here. You are welcome. Most of the buildings, oh. but not all of them, have um, hatches on the doors, so you can flip up the hatches and you're relatively safe, but not completely. So, um, heads oop. There is a bear on the western side of the town. Uh, I haven't so, got like far. opposite side to where you came in. Yeah, I'll stay on my side. Is it chasing you? Do you need help or are you okay? Nah, it's just stood in the middle of the road. Uh, Lag. Why is it lagging on a pod? There we go. Oof. <laughs> Hey, what we got? Let's uh, actually. Oh, do I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, 
How many saves we got? This is 33, so the next save is going to be 34. Yeah. On the 34th day, I'll probably do a couple of trips back then. Fox can get some of this loot back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, still we we while. Hmm. Can, can you shoot through the gaps of those? No, it looks like you can't shoot through the gaps of broken or breaking doors. Yeah, using my miner's helmet. Have you have you guys got your own helmets yet? Your miner's helmets. <laughs> And, uh, I, I was thinking that before I left, I should have made one. We have um, all the equipment to, to do it. Damn it. Yeah, it's very dark very quick. That one. Oh, this means... Uh, did you guys see the um, one of the recent videos? It's got a whole bunch of views now. Uh, the pyramid one. The pyramid one, yes. That's like 600 views. Oh. Which is surprising. Um, oh, I think I need stone. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, 600 views, which is... I need to have a look at the analytics and see if it's like average view time is two seconds or not. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it so far. Get that out of the way. There's loads of deer in this town, which is great. Yeah, I didn't notice that actually. Ah, you found a little bunker. Or did I find that bunker? Not me. Oh, there's a bunker just over the road from me. You can see there's a little torch on it. Um, I don't know why. Isn't it? Broke last time. Like a second. Um, yeah, so 600 odd views on that one, and like the, the like the, the t more of the tutorial like videos just aren't doing well. I think that's kind of what we said before. It's just too old of a game. People know how to play it. They don't care for how to find things because they they've been there, done that. But uh, the concept ones, I think people seem seven to days more pro game are still playing. Well, yeah, that is very true. Yeah, I think it'd be nice to see if that console update does release and, uh, you know, what it looks like for, for us. Yeah. There's another bloke. There's Spartan85. Yeah, I saw a few right. of his videos. You've seen the super recent. Cause there's a, like a convention-y type thing. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. It's like PAX. East or something like that. There's a yeah. and thumb pimps are there and they're showing demos or they're letting people play demos of the console thing, and it looks really good. So and the performance seems fine in terms of like performance. It's similar to this where the zombies like, they're still steady and things like that. Um, okay. As long as that is like for like and they're not just using like souped up PCs behind there the wall and it is a bog standing off the shelf PlayStation or Xbox and 
Yeah, because I mean, I wanted to get um, Ark Survival Ascended. Um, so like the, the updated version of Ark. Mm. But um, the reviews for that have just been horrible. Like people just saying stick to Survival Evolved, yeah, the older yeah, one. Yeah. Just it because... looks so pretty though. Yeah. Well, apparently it's too pretty and like it just looks good running on like top quality stuff but for most uh, people it uh doesn't run particularly well so so it's been built on pc for pc players it's a another pc master race type thing uh, and even like a lot of pc people are saying that uh it's just it just doesn't run very well it's kind of like what um arc survival of old was like when they first released it so they're selling a game for like how much they're selling it for? I think they're selling it for full price, but mm. basically it's just it it just it doesn't run. It's super laggy and the, it's just not not a good experience. That's disappointing, isn't it? Because that could um, those types of reviews can break the game or like the release and things like that. Just full plan its face. Yeah, it's a shame because so many games do it now. It's the same with like Battlefield. It's just like, yeah. I love the Battlefield games and I I want them to do well, but then they just release it broken and then it just dies instantly and and so it's hard to uh, convince the player base to come back when you kind of screwed them over already. Yeah. Alright. There's a... I don't know where you are. You... Tucked away safe for the night. Kind of. Okay, that doesn't sound like a yes. <laughs> uh, oh no, it's locked. I'm no longer. Uh, my fallback plan has come has fallen through. Um, oh, there's a passing gas down the road. I might go for that. Shit! No. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, I have attracted more friends. Um, yeah. Definitely not. Is anybody really going to want the flaming arrow schematic? Or should I kind of read that? Um, it's probably better that you read it anyway, because your weapon smithing is quite high, isn't it? So I don't know if you can. I think you and me are neck and neck. So I think we're, we're covered. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to be making. Or if anyone's going to be making flaming arrows, it's going to be you, you or I, so you might as well just. Learn it. Okie dokie. I've um, been desperate for space, so I've scrapped some of the uh, brown weapon parts because we're beyond that already. I hope yep. that's okay. If we've got room, we can take them home and smelt them, but I'm struggling for space. Uh, I'll look at what we can do. Is there multiple, like, junk chests that you found left around, or is it just the one? Um, there is. Uh, there's the one in the middle of the road, in between the two houses where you came into town. Yeah. And there should be one or two higher up. So the houses north of you, I should have cleared as well. Okay. Um, but I can't help right now, really. I know I've got a crawler trying to follow me, but I don't know where. I can hear a lot more. That's fine. I was just I just dumped the uh, one uh, in the one in the middle of the road. You know. I mean, if you're feeling brave, we can try and I can try and get in that um, bunker. I just need to break the hatch on top and just hope zombies don't like, fall on top of me. Mm. 
Um, I don't know where it is. Uh, if you see down south, me on the compass. Yeah. I'll flash my torch at you. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a bunker, literally the the building down. It's got a torch on the well. I just need to break open the locked hatch. There'll be the lock I need to break, then the hatch itself. So I could die then. Oh fuck, you've gone. Okay. I'll just you don't have to you. come with me. I'm invincible. Uh, yeah, you're deaf. Yeah, you're deaf to say that. But okay. Okay, cool. We're in. Uh, do you want to head down? Can I just drop? E no. Well, you can do. I don't have a light. I'm okay. going in. Oh, shit. Oh. There's yeah. something spiky. That's uh, something spiky, yeah. Can you see? It is literally spikes. Uh, I'm fucked up a little bit. I need to create space. As I it's alright. One second. I'm just crafting a torch. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. That is, that is spiky. <laughs> we like to get our steps in. Uh, do you have a tool to break that? that? Uh, spike. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. You're like floating, what? nowhere near the ladder. I can't reach it. I don't know how low I am. What about if you crouch? Is that going to give you that extra little leap? Okay. Nice. Yeah. So crouching is supposed to improve your reach by one block, which makes perfect sense, right? Just like in real life. Just like in real life. Uh, I've got a steel pickaxe though, so I, I can help you um, get through the concrete. Ouch! I'll just leave those there, Fox. And if we go for the wall, it should have less health than the steel door. Okay. I don't think I have a particularly good pickaxe, so I'm just using. One that I think we found. Okay, yeah, I got a 272, which is steel. Steel. Which is pretty good. Okay, I'm using a 246 iron pickaxe, I think. Oh, nice. Better than stone, stone shovel. I've done a couple uh, of bunches yeah. on this map with a stone shovel. That's, I need five uh, skill points. That's a good, uh, good viewing uh, for anyone oh, at home watching that. Absolutely is. Um, did you want to have a quick look at the settings, John, if you're not in the middle of something? Uh, I've got to try and do it from memory, which is probably not going to be very good. Um, but yeah, if we, well, I'll say when, but it's on the PlayStation Party chat options. There you go, Fox. There's a shotgun and an AK schematic that you might want to read. Ooh, I'll take the shotgun one, please. There you go. And junk's in there as well. Assuming, allow. Assuming that's it. Uh, let me turn the. Uh, I've got the laptop open in front of me. Let me turn the volume back up. You're gonna have to tell us all about West Ham and their mighty results recently. It's gonna be a very short. Uh... <laughs> Good old West Ham. Yeah, there you go. Ever. You're on. Yeah, I can hear myself. It's oh, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what we need to put up with. <laughs> Lucky loves to learn every day, boys. Nice. Ah, uh, nice. The, uh... What's the accent? The accent? Um, I don't know. Where, where are you from? So we're all British. We don't have an accent. You have an accent. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. I said, none of us have really got, like, any particularly strong... 
Not too Ash much. Ash does if he's talking to his dad, but other than that, it's all fairly. <laughs> and we're all quite, yeah, been diluted. So, yeah, well, there's one of us that's got a farmer accent and he's not on. But that's, uh, we're, Hereford's where we all met and went to school, like near Wales in, in the UK. The West Midlands of the UK. Yeah. And the new guy, he's not, um, farmery. He's from Hereford, yeah, near Wales, which isn't, yeah. Uh, you can't. You had your early kid years in London, didn't you, John? Kind of like me. No, I've always been here. It's just my uh, mum's side. <laughs> yeah, I just don't sound like I'm from here at all. Though. <laughs> no, just an anomaly. But Hereford just doesn't seem anomaly. to have an accent. It's either you you sound like a farmer or you you just sound absolutely normal. Like bang on with that one. Yeah, you're just sort of weird. Like a weird... Place. A weird normie. Oh, I just kind of like the jade. Hmm. Interesting. Are we looking for anything in particular, and or like any extra bits that we uh, should be taking apart in these uh, bunkers? Um, not beds so much taking apart. I mean, you can take apart the beds, but it's only a little bit of cotton, and if you keep going, a bit of scrap. So it's probably not worth it. Um, with like clothes and things, if you've got the cloth on you, you can repair them first for your tailoring, and then dismantle them. Um, just a little tip for switchy skills. Other than that, no, let's just, just see what we can find and take it home. I've got a pistol book for you and some leather armor and a sledgehammer schematic. I think you've learned that one already. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm good for that type of stuff. Aye. Uh, uh, did you do the uh, the gun bolt? Have you done your side, that, that other side? Uh, I think so. Nice. Just the the big one, the big daddy room. Bowden looks good. Uh, on um Bowden on the um on for England. Bowen, 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 Bowen. Oh, I was Bowen. Getting, I was in the middle of about there's so many quite similar sort of names, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't 100 percent which one you went there. Uh, I, yeah, I, went, I mean yeah. what a it, player. Quite it was that's what we needed, like the, the more aggressive attacking type of football. Uh, which is far better, I thought, and more. Uh, he, he didn't have too many chances, but it was better than watching them not attack. I like Bowen because he just well. He's one of I think there's so many of them all like. I suppose he cuts inside quite a lot. I suppose at the moment he's playing up front for us. So I suppose it's slightly different, but. Mm. It's good to have a bit of a mix. If you say you've got him and Saka playing or Foden. They're all slightly different. Yeah. More options you have, the better, though. Um, I'll let you open, like, actually loot these places, because I think your scavenging is probably better than mine, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Your scavenging is probably at some mental level, isn't it? No, 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 it's uh, only just gone to level 30, so it's pretty poor, really. Um, Seven days yeah. pro I... gamer. Fair enough. Like, uh, what was it? Was it Modern Warfare? One. Um, 
Was it one where you do the training it? I'm pretty uh, sure. Like, you're Kremnil. still soap, aren't you, in Kremnil? Yeah, but it calls it Hereford, like the super secret staff space that everybody knows about. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, James Bond uh, building, the MI5 or the MI6 building, or whatever one the real one is. They stick it in the James Bond films, so you can't have a fucking spy building in the, in the film. <laughs> Apparently you can. No one's going to be attacking the SAS base. No. They're dotted around all over anyway. They've got um, squads here, there, and everywhere. That's, that's where their home, home is, hometown. They still use the barrels as their. Well, I'm sure it changes every other day, but they still use the barrels as their um, like drinking place. I think it's a bit of a mix because the bar barrels is definitely always going to be. I would say that, but um, yeah. they quite like. Like the Lich, that one's quite often really? in town. Yeah, quite a lot do go there. I think now as well. Yeah. I think this. I suppose there's that many of them as well. I think. I suppose they all do dot about everywhere. Yeah, that makes sense. Which is fair enough. And they don't mind if it's rough there. Oh, they're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, assemble some of these guns, Fox. But there's. Nothing to write home about, really. Alright. Yeah, so, so he's just um, said that there's a lot of gun safes in the um, in these bunkers. And there's, what, two different types of bunkers, maybe? And th that one's really fruitful. It's really good. Um, mm, let's go for the shotgun. I don't. I'm happy that I know it now. But how many times when we used to play this game did we just carry all the singular gun parts home and could have just assembled them and saved a whole bunch of space, a whole bunch of time? I think it's like you said before, but like, where there's no like actual tutorial for this, you just gotta like literally work it out on your own, haven't you? Something like that yeah. is really that. I mean, I wouldn't have a clue. Yeah, I mean, besides like the basic, I mean, what do they even teach you? They make, teach you how to make a bedroll and to make some clothes and. It's basically good it. luck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's literally it, isn't it? And you're on your way. Yeah. Because with some games, like they don't give you a tutorial, but they'll give you like a uh, like a in-game kind of wiki where you can kind of uh, just look it up. Uh, in the menus or something like that. Yeah. It's a good um, point, actually. They do need just to, like, almost like a glossary type thing, don't they? And then you can go back yeah. and review all, like, whether it's tutorial. I say you can yeah, view yeah. the tutorials, there isn't any, but at least have them in there, you'd have thought somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Did you. Um... I forgot what I was going to ask, sorry. Um no, sorry, it's gone. God. Terrible old age. Oh, did you want any of the clothes? That's what it was. Did you want any of the clothes? What's wrong with that? Oh it's a shotgun barrel. No, I don't think so. Okay. Cool. Um like I'm just gonna scrap them then. Uh, to save space. And I'm gonna look to just pick up all the shit and Head home. So I think I'm going to scrap my bow, for example, and just anything that I can scrap to, for space. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the dust, leather duster, I'm going to keep. Iron arrow. I'll get rid of that. Cool. And then I'll just take hold ward of crap home with me. Sound like we've got friends upstairs as well, which is nice. Yeah, I was saying I was sensed when I crouched just then. Cool. Can I uh, scrap, scrap 
crap any of this. Mm. Do you want to read the AK book, maybe? Um. Yeah. Or do you think it makes a difference in terms of um, who's going to be like making weapons later no, not, on? Like not guns the guns. No, not the guns. Not at all. Because you don't. Apart from repairing, but I think the, the general repairing skill or gunsmithing skill feeds into that. Um, and really, you don't really use much at all. Uh, but there's the AK one. Alright. I'll try and make it then. Start. Okay. Oh, it's quite loud. You, uh, I don't want to leave anything. Oh. Oh my god, I come stuck. Yeah, I'm here. I'm, here. I'm stuck. I need to go back down. I'm gonna die. Um. Oh, that failed. Don't know what happened there. I just couldn't get out. I think I've um, bulged up on where I placed the hatch frame. The hatch. Uh, what is best to do? It is just get up there and run, run, create a bit of space, distance between us, but... Oh, good. Nice. Sham sandwich. Try again. Yes, right. You gotta, like, look, turn around, like, 180. I'll try and lure him away for you. Yeah, it's looking better now. There's only three. He's got one on the, uh, the ladder again, so I'll take care of him and then I'll run escape. Okay, cool. Nice. Cool, that's a two out of three. How you guys go? We can get back in, okay? Yeah, we'll get. Oh! Crossbow schematic! Yeah! Oh, happy days. Nice. That's off a body. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll make it back. I just don't know how much of the goodies. <clears throat> Do you want to read the crossbow box? No, you go ahead. Double sure. Yeah, you found it. You deserve it. Go on. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Die. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Cracking. Right, let's go consolidate the crap. Is just too much rubbish in that chest to, to bring it home, or are we looking alright? Um, I don't know if you want to try and condense down some of your stuff, and then I think that we should be able to split it between us both. Um, I mean, I can try and shove everything in there, and then we can leave the terrible rubbish behind. Yeah. Um, cool. Are you happy for me to just take whatever, because we're heading home? Oh uh, yeah, we'll just take we'll it and sort it out on my home. I'm going to leave the torches here, I'm going to leave some like emergency food here, and like emergency painkillers maybe. Yeah, whatever. Do whatever you think's best. Oh no, we're a, we're a democracy. You're the boss. No. There's one good thing, if you do leave a few bits, we need to go back there again. At least, or at least near there. So the stuff ready. Yeah, I guess yeah. we're going to be back here looting the rest of the uh, buildings. 
Yeah, cool. I'm completely full. Alright. Do you want me to hang around in case there's a bear or zombies? Nah, I can handle myself. Don't you worry. Okay, well, I always worry about you. I don't think I've died yet at all today, have I? I mean, the night's still young. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't write yourself off. I'm trying to pick those yellow flowers as I go by as well. Make them tease. Okay. The golden, golden, golden rods. Rod yeah, uh, they do the same um, thirst regen as um, water, but they give you wellness. So it seems like a no-brainer. Really. Yeah, I guess I might as well get all the added bonuses, for whatever they offer. Yeah. Ah, darn. Oh, I've brought glass with me. Why have I done that? I dropped the glass to make room for eggs. And I've got some room for feathers. That's good. Make loads of arrows. 34. And 35. Cool, so then tomorrow day I'll probably be able to do a zigzag to the the bunker, the midway bunker and back, and then prep for uh, horde night. What day was horde night again? 35. If, my, if I know my sevens, I didn't earlier. I had to just skip a few. Just use Excel now to uh, do all my maps for me, or really. the calculator on my phone. <laughs> I use brain power, and I can use the I can use my phone. You both guys can both create sledgehammers, can't you? Yarp. Yep. Cool. All right. I've picked up. I covered up, just got a couple of supply drops. So I've just noticed we got extra like schematics and stuff. So we got like, well, two spare sledgehammer ones, not including the one I've just read. So if you guys have done that, that's all good. Nice. We've got three leg armor ones. Is it just you, Fox? That's read the arm ones so far. Um, unless Blackie's been uh, reading them as he finds them. But yeah, I, th I think I'm the one who's main one who's crafting them. But That's what uh, I might as well go ahead and read them. That's what I'm wondering. It saves space as well, doesn't it? Yeah, share the love around. Yeah. If one of them, one of you guys aren't on for whatever reason, then at least we've got a backup specialist or what have you. This is it. Mm, lucky, do you see that tent on the hill? Have you already explored that one? Yeah, so this side, there's lots of, um, oh, actually no, just to your north now, immediately now, I haven't done that one, um, that's the one end to the dirt tracks along this strip that I haven't done. Well, there's a dirt strip going off. To the very north, I haven't touched yet. But... There was a lot of zombies back there, so I didn't want to stop and. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's something that they carried on. So the POIs in the new one, they um no matter what, even like the burnt out houses have a level attached to them and a pre-planned um like spawn locations and like or or trigger points and things like that. So if you get rock into a house, if it's a knocked up house, then usually it'll be like a, the easiest difficulty. But it's guaranteed to have like a, like, you know, inverted commas, a boss zombie, where it's going to be a fat mama or something to that effect. Like there'll be a, a tougher zombie in there, sort of in a cupboard that's going to spring out on you. And there might be one or two others here and there that are easy. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. 
but then you go up. So I tried to loot a passing gas, and it turned out to be a big one. Um, and it was it was just too hard. I I had like my stone axe and a bow and arrow, and I just couldn't do it. I had to run away. And those three out of five skulls, um, like you'd be crawling through, not literally, but you'd be taking your time going through these room by room, being really method methodological, and trying not to die. And it's just too hard. You just get overwhelmed. You get overrun. Uh, so really, really cool in that regard instead of just like but th this is fine like you, you you walk around you find a structure you loot it happy days but having that sort of extra jeopardy or like knowing that there's a mini boss awaiting your final loot crate i thought that was quite good more rewards to each house hmm yeah i guess I haven't played it for a while. It, it just didn't like my laptop. I think my laptop is getting a little bit too old. Yeah, I just tend to play uh, old games on my laptop. It's definitely not um, not built to play uh, anything that's open world. No. I had a go the other day online, I loaded up the old Age of Empires from like nearly 30 years ago, I think we're up to. Nice. Now, oh, it was so fun. Which one are you playing, Age of Empires 2 or Age of Empires 1? 2. Yeah, not oh, the yeah. original, I think it's Age of Kings 1. Yeah. Yeah. God, it my, when I was living in Canada, my... Uh, Roommate, he uh, started the uh, the Facebook page for uh, Age of Empires 2 um, on uh, like the British English speaking one. So like he was super into it, and we did play uh, through co-op campaigns a couple of times. I was there, uh, which is good fun. Oh, that's just so fun. You just get lost in it. I find. Mm. Oh, no, I was gonna say, I got a book on use of pistols and putting them together. I'm assuming we don't have anything like that yet. Uh, I've read one. I think I can do. I can do pistols. Cool. Ah, there is. I've chucked it in like the, the book one anyway. Yeah, I think when we get to a point where we're using firearms. Um, then we can kind of all choose and specialise in uh, whatever weapon we want to use and kind of change it around a bit so someone can use pistols, someone can use rifles and uh, shotguns or whatever um, and then whoever's using whichever weapon can learn the books and skills oh, just to be sense. more efficient. Yeah, I suppose like you said, I know like you guys were saying the other week, like the ammo and stuff like that, which totally makes sense because otherwise we'll be fighting over the same ammo. I mean, there's not tons of it. Yeah. Mm. So if we know where the crossovers are, then we can prioritise that particular type of ammo for construction. True. Can, but yeah, until we know. Um, but yeah, like the shotguns are good, but I just think that the uh, normal shotgun slugs aren't particularly strong or powerful, which kind of makes them a little bit not very helpful. Uh, but the slug rounds are really good. Like it says what it, it does what it says on the tin, and it it thumps them hard. Um, and you can always use it as like a shotgun sniper or like a hunting rifle. And the hunting rifle is all right. I've liked it for hunting deer, but then zombies, I don't know. I just think it's too easy to miss your shots against zombies. Um, and ammo is expensive. So I don't know. Yeah, it kind of really needs to be uh, a definite 100% chance of hitting and killing to really be worth yeah. worth the investment. 
like here's not too bad because they're going to be stuck up against these poles so if if we are literally being overrun on one side and not the other then you can just pop a few heads with a couple of rifle shots and then carry on your sledgehammer but um yeah that's a fair point especially the lot they're going to start to stack which we had here and now haven't we yeah <laughs> nice, 120 of those yellow flowers. Couldn't whack up some tea. So what, they stacked 15, and then 6 times 15 is what? 90? 90. Get 90 bottles and 90 flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we had a dump chest, I might have been able to make it to the bunker and back. Mm, actually, what's the time now? Yeah, ten, we need 10 o'clock. Mm. We need a dump chest. I'm going to stick it in this over here. These um, leftover cabinets. And I'm going to try and make a pass at the uh, bunker. Uh, I'll take... Uh, I won't take the wrench, but I'll take the uh, pistol just in case we get stuck. Yeah, to be fair, if that helps actually doing the dump thing, because I sometimes find in the evenings, because I'm obviously not as out and about as you guys, I'm not as much rave. So then I don't mind just in the evenings if I've got a spare. I dumped some bunch of stuff in the right end chest. Like the end I had a little look actually. Yeah, I, st I did that um, earlier. So ah, I can sort that one out, because I assume, to be fair, that's what it. It was, so uh, if you guys do that, I don't mind sorting it here and there, I don't mind at all. Oh, shit. I think I might have bottled it. Uh, some of my food and my water. Unless I can, yeah, actually, I'll take it on the go. I'll take some food and water on the go. Uh, let's do that, and that, and that. Right, cool. Still time, it's still time! I think you've got time. Oh, I don't know, two hours there. It's not hard. Hard? Day, day 35. It's day 34 right now. Who do you think you're going to get back and... Um, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to die. Ah, but... <laughs> uh, that's a good point. I can definitely that. get there. Getting that was what I was going to ask you guys. What's your tool making skill? Because I've, I've realised I probably need a pickaxe was the only thing, and mine is quite low. I'm only getting around 220 for tools, and I didn't want to just oh. waste all the forged. I think that's uh, better than me. Yeah, I think Ash was the best one. For it is team. Ash, is it? I was wondering yeah. if it was. Oh, okay, I'll wait till... And how much does it matter? I mean, I'm trying to think how to even work it out. How, would it go up loads if I made one? Like if it's around 220. I can't even remember what he was even doing to him that, to be honest. Um... No, I don't know either. Uh, well, it was do, about two, 270 he was doing, 280. So I've repaired a steel pickaxe and that's now at 272. So if you knock off 5-ish uh, to 8-ish, that's what he was making. So he's like 50 odd above you, but Really, by the time you've used it and he gets back on, well, in a week or two weeks' time. Because I'm thinking, I suppose, if I get that, I can try and tonight spam making loads of tools, even. If there's anything, unless there's anything else for it, it's quite late anyway. And it might just mean then, if there's two of us that can make higher level, if he's got the highest, and then you guys are more weapons, if you see what I mean. At least then. Yeah. Sharing it around, like you say, like someone's off, isn't it? Ah, shit, battery. Yeah. 
Did anything come of Ash's um, little mine ex exit? Well, not really, into the water. Or did he give up? Because there was just too much water. Ooh. Don't know. Yeah, I can't say I'm 100% either. I think that's what that little spit of wood is, isn't it? Going into the lake. It's like an emergency exit. <laughs> I don't know. Lots of little projects going on, but yeah. no finished ones. No. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, I tried to be cheeky and I was trying to whiz up a mini bike, but uh, yeah, I forgot the battery, and the only one I can find is rubbish. Yeah. Cool. All right. How much time do I have? Ah, oh, less than a game hour. Ugh, oh, I'm not going to make it there and back. I don't know if it's worth trying. I think I might as well just wait for the daytime. Uh, and I don't know how far that battery is actually going to take me. Okay, it's got 24%. Ah, oh, yeah, let's, let's give it a go. Ooh. Cool, three wides just wide enough. Oh, I've got a bend though, this next bridge. Good luck, don't crash into the water. I know, right? <laughs> uh, it's, it's quite narrow. Oh, maybe I'm just nervous. Yeah, there you Do go. we need to straighten all the bridges out for you? <laughs> yeah, just make it as simple as possible. I don't know why I've gone, I should have just tried to send you Fox. Like, go on, yeah, you're the explorer, you go, it'll be really good, <laughs> it'll be fine. Nah, you need to get your, your deaths up. Yeah. All your numbers on, ugh, 14. Terrible. Rookie That's numbers. Good. Ash is on one less though, isn't he, I think? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't say at the moment, but oh. John's on 16, you're on 14, and <clears throat> I'm on... Uh, Forty one. <laughs> yeah, forty one, yeah. <laughs> You're just doing like your community service, you're just keeping the game score down. You're helping us. I'm sure I've sacrificed myself many times to defend you guys, it's why my deaths are so high. Yes, yeah, so it defending us from the horrors from the city. I'm just Throwing my distance. body into their mouths just so that they don't <laughs> go for you. So noble. <laughs> yeah. It's all for the team. Exactly. Um, right, it's getting a little more tricky to see. I'm worried about my battery running out on the way home. Because was it? The, the battery ran dead in the mini bikes for you guys, didn't it? So they completely stopped. It did. It was quite scary, to be honest. Yeah. Especially think... when we had a couple of them all in the same place. Yeah. So we must have left the lights on, I think, was what we determined. And then battery drained and we, yeah, got stranded. There's yeah. just so many elements. Don't want that. It's just such an in-depth game. Great game, great game. Ah, there's a better battery. Okay, let's prioritize the guns. Oh, there's a bit too much. There is a bit too much. Um, I've got to eat some food. Let's eat the chicken soup. Chuck something in there. Yeah, there you go. Stack that. Scrap that. Does anybody want to read the first aid schematic? Or do we have plenty of those at home? There's I at least we... three, I think, when I was in there earlier. That was the other one that had more than a couple. I'm right there, actually. If you give me two seconds, nice. I'll have a quick look. Sure, uh, what about one. leather? There's three boots. first aid kits. Leather boots. Leather boots. We're, we're, not, we're beyond leather now, so that doesn't really matter, does it? Well, if you want to wear leather, you can wear leather. Wow. No judgment here. Yeah. There's only one leather chest armor here, so okay. the rest of all red. 
Okay, I definitely need to bring back the headlights because I need them for a second mini bike. So what should I condense? Pistol parts, pistol parts, SMG, hunting rifle. Can we put the torch on something? Yeah, it's the flashlight. Oh, but then I'll Ooh, that reminds me, I was going to make a mining helmet. What or does one need to make a mining helmet? Definitely the football, football helmet. Yeah. A flashlight. I think it's duct tape, electrical parts, and maybe something else. I will swap that, actually. Uh, um, let's refuel that. Nice. Wear leather. As in, wear it as clothes, or wear as the destination? Because you type the destination wear. Um, which... Wear it. It didn't look fashionable, I think. I think that was, that was the intention. But I just can't do that. It's some survival difficulty. Is that the second hardest or is that the third hardest? Um, it, what, yeah, do we go the one below the top? And then what? we thought, well, actually, if it's not too bad, we can just then... Yeah, I think we, I think we, we found out it's been fine. We went <laughs> so out a little bit. Yeah, I think I wanted to go hardest, yeah. but pro you guys were protesting. Although we yeah. started, we've done a few nights on an insane difficulty, haven't we, Fox? And it wasn't, it wasn't literally insane. I, I don't, I didn't think. Is it much different even to like? I mean, yeah, like you think you struggle. Well, I, you might have your own opinion, Fox, but yes, yeah. I, I found it like you had to take your time so much just to kill a zombie. Which, yeah. Um, often you don't have a lot of time. Yeah, it just, it just took a very long time <laughs> to do anything. Yeah. He's suggesting I just use uh, clothes armor, or cloth cloth armor, maybe clothes cloth armor. armor. Yeah, that that would be that would be a hell of a challenge, particularly on insane difficulty as well. I know we're on survivor, but yeah, <laughs> the cloth would look nice with leather. Mm. <laughs> they they should just wear the leather armor, and that's it. Uh, just make the game more challenging for yourself. You know, just 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 for fun. That's, yeah, really. We just, we haven't died in too long. Now it's just becoming boring. Yeah, exactly. Playing it on easy mode. Oh, well. Five minutes in the city and we'll be dead. It's, it's almost guaranteed. It's, well, dogs. Dogs are the dogs. main. Then spiders. Ferals, I haven't come across any, but you guys have, haven't you? I think, Fox, you have one in the city, and did you have one mm -hmm. in the cave, John? When you went caving? Oh, feral. Um, I've seen two, and both of them, I've just been near the base, and then they've just started chasing me. Excellent. <laughs> to be honest, one, I don't know when it first happened, because I hadn't seen them, so I didn't know what it even... <laughs> One of them, I didn't even know what the hell it was. And the second time, I didn't even see it. I think it was Ash did. Nice. And I, he said something, and I turned around. Well, what, oh, fuck. <laughs> I tried nice. to get in, and I had to jump up the uh, sort of ladders here, and I just got completely, yeah, I just couldn't get out. It's like a baptism of fire, isn't it? You don't even know what it is, but it's trying to eat your face. Yeah, it ain't friendly, I know that. <laughs> Other than that, that was about... Extent. They're so quick and they hit so hard. It's just like, yeah, you see it and you're dead. Yeah, they're three blocks tall as well. Only zombie that is. 
Which doesn't really matter too much, but Is you're trying to get a headshot. Shot. I think so, because you're trying to get a headshot, and like you, where you're normally going to aim, you're hitting him in the neck or the chest. So, yeah, they're just and they're just super tough. They sprint during the day. They're just not very nice. <laughs> yeah, and dogs are addictions in the city. What well, I've I really struggled, so I was absolutely gutted. So on my single player one, I was on, I don't know, like about 180, 190, um, like stamina and health, like the well-being, because it just takes me forever to, because I've maxed out those skills of like the, the food and the drink, so it takes me forever to get thirsty and hungry, to then eat the meat stew, to then get well-being and blah, 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 blah. Um, then I went exploring, I, I went to try and find a trader in the wastelands, because they... There's like different tier systems, and the wasteland gives you the best traders with the best loot. Um, and I found one, which was great. But then trying to make a safe passageway from my main base to the trader, I died so many times. And I've gone right down to like the bare minimum. What is that, what I think now with all the skills, like 120. I guess um, the expectation is by the time that you're maxing out stuff, is that you should be cra crafting medical goodness to yeah. uh, to use rather than relying on food wellness yeah that which is just so frustrating like even um what is it the aloe uh paste and bandages or whatever yeah yeah it's even that i and i yeah it was just annoying. Was trying to make that safe passage, I was then getting off my mini bike because I can't. You can't drive through your mini bike because in the wasteland there are landmines all over the floor, uh, which are very nasty when you're driving along all happy and suddenly blow up for no apparent reason. Uh, so I could get off. Yeah, and like every other zombie in the wasteland is a dog, and it's just it is horrible. What a horrible place to be. Uh, so yeah. I think twice before going on foot through the wasteland. Um, it's not worth it. I do apologise, John. I know you're sorting these out, and I'm just dumping more stuff in them. Uh, it's, it, I'm not um, trying to oh, I haven't actually harder. looked in those ones in that corner yet. To be fair, so. oh, okay. that's all good. Sorry, uh, I'll I'll take all the stuff out and I'll put it in the real dump chest. And then John can <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay then. As long as we're all on the same page, that John sorts that junk out. Yeah. No, I don't mind. Junky John. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, I managed to get a, an awful lot of that stuff out of the bunker. I think. I can't remember now. I think it was all of it. It might. I might be wrong. Um, did pretty darn good. Have you have a lot of meat? Doesn't that attract? Uh, oh no! So meat only smells if it's in your inventory, and it smells even more if it is in your hot bar. I'll go grab some and I'll show you. See so yeah, if it's in a oh. container, and it it I think it tells you when the meat it tells you on the pop up. Yeah, it gives you a yeah, bit of a prompt to say. You're carrying something that smells and attracts zombies. Store it in a oh, container. Yeah. And I've you can store it in any container. Yeah, but if you press triangle on raw meat, it's got the um, bag smell range and smell strength, which is uh, 20 range, which I think is just 20 blocks. Kind of like Minecraft, a block is a meter, I think. And then strength 4. And then smell belt smell range, which is your hot bar. Um, that's stronger, so that's a range of 60 and a strength of 4. I don't know if like different dishes have different strength values then. Oh yeah, so cooked, so eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon? Bacon and eggs. Smell range of 10 and strength of 3, so not too shabby. Yeah, there you go. 
the more we know. Uh, guns. I haven't done any consolidation on guns yet either. Oh, it looks like we probably could. Well, like in terms of getting rid of the bad parts and whatnot. Yeah, and um, you can combine stuff in the workbench. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I might have learned the shotgun one now, so I might, uh, yeah, I might construct a nice shotgun for myself. Just in yeah. case I go to the city and I need to blow the dogs away. <laughs> Before they chomp on you. Yeah. We got, uh, there's still loads of steel arrows left as well. I crafted some way back when, uh, when we were all having goes at bows, and there's still a bunch left. Um, if people want I to... mostly uh, use the stone ones because I always forget about the steel, or I just like the fact that I can easily craft them. Yeah, we use yeah them. on the go. This is the thing. Yeah, I've always got about 40 on me for that reason, like you say, because you can just quickly make them. Oi. Um, cool. I think feathers were a hot commodity. Yeah, nice. So they're up there. Cotton buckets of. Look to eat some food. Did you want to make a play for maybe the cinema or something in the city, or should we just stay safe to Horde Night? Wow, oh, you're feeling brave. I mean, we can. Yeah, um, I don't mind. I'm, I'm happy to go to the city. You are fearless. <laughs> you're the best of all of us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I haven't died all evening, so I think I'm pretty much invincible now. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, scratch that. Ah, uh, screaming lady. She bloody mm. lady. She got me. She fell in my traps, good. Yeah. Alright, where's that sledgehammer? Oh, sorry, did you want another sledgehammer? Or were you just asking about the schematic earlier? Oh no, just the schematic. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm all good. Uh, look skills. Mm. Oh yeah, I'll do another pummel peat. You must be getting five. close to maxing out your pummel peat, aren't you? Yeah, I'm four out of five. I just reached 40 blunt weapons, so that's very nice. Bananas! Oh, fell into the traps. Uh-oh. Hey, you, you, you got a dog? Dog, dog, dog? Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. <laughs> Damn. I'm so good, I'm so invincible. Oh shit, it's up there. Damn it. Yes. Remo. We're not precious about the screen, are we? We do want her dead. We're not we're not using her intentionally to call him. No, no, just kill. Okay, just kill. Get rid. Who's your creative guy? Um, who's our creative guy? As in, like, so we sort of. There's two of us do weapons, one kind of two does tools. In terms of like base design, I've I suggested a few things this time, but I've tried to let you guys come up with a, a problem and then I'd give you a couple of solutions to choose from. But this, um. Ow. John this did game. most of the work of the spikes out the side of the game. Yeah, John did all the, the yeah. spikes and the defences out, out <clears throat> over the... Um, it's like the outer layer. Yeah. 
than the pole, wedge pole is just like a, the classic. And that was a good To be fair, actually, the little gaps in that corner is actually, well, by the looks of it, they're already gone actually in that corner there and the other one. Feedback, quite good. Hey. That nurse is annoying me. Oh, good job. Oh, what happened then? So I was. Fox Stuck came in top, and. Isn't he? Yeah, happy days. I'm like a ninja. <laughs> Smash! Yeah, I'm hoping the Horde Knight's going to be pretty good. So, did, have you, did you watch the last video? The, the square base one? Are you asking us? I was asking you. No. No, I haven't watched it. Alright, that's fine. So on there, I I did like a horde night on steroids. So it's, it's in, literally in the middle of the city. And I've made a little base. Um, a horde night base. And I have then put three layers. And on the top third floor, I've got loads of campfires to increase the heat the game heat in the area and that's mm. attracted a screamer and then eventually three screamers turn up um, and yeah the, they call in ferals, they call in policemen they call in a bear, they call in dogs they call in so many more on top of the horde night that's already going on which is pretty good Jesus <laughs> Uh, but I was thinking, if we get not, not, we shouldn't get bored. But if we do get bored on this one, we could start doing loads of campfires or forges, increasing the heat. Then now call in screamers, which are then call in more zombies, and then make horde night even more tricky. To be fair, it does sound good, and also if we, if we're trying a few things out, whether it's new traps or new designs of things, we can give them a bit of a go as well. It's like you say, it adds a bit more to it, doesn't it? Yeah. More jeopardy. More excitement. Or oh, jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, so it's tonight, isn't it? Okay. Um, yeah, I might stick with rifles. Um, yeah, are you enjoying that? I am quite enjoying it. Yeah. <sighs> Although handguns are very convenient because there are just so many everywhere. Um. I think I'll stick with a hunting rifle for now and I might treat myself to a sniper when we can get a yellow one. Although there's a lot of brown parts which I don't think are worth combining. I think they're just worth scrap. Uh, not even scrapping, sorry. What's it in the forge? Smelting. I'm asking mm -hmm. if ammo is precious, we might as well use it in decent stuff. Yeah. I'm building it up and yeah. Um, what's the uh, magnum like compared to a normal pistol? It it is it is good, but it's a magnum, so you can't pop lots of rounds off. It's got special ammo, which is expensive, uh, and you need to read a book ah. to be able to craft it. Or maybe it's a skill unlock actually. Um. I need to double check, but it's expensive in terms of skill points and uh, materials to craft it. But it, it it does a very good job. It's like a it, it's like a traditional magnum if you think of it from other gun games. Yeah. Uh, okay. So there is value, I, I think. But um, yeah. Um. Okay. 
So, barrel down that end, stock down this end, parts in there. Uh, assemble. Barrel. Stock. Actually, that's a brown stock I can get in the bin. Did I specifically say he was going away for his birthday? So I sort of assumed that it would be uh, sort of wrapped into the same sort of time. Yeah, it was like a kind of... I mean, I they were on the coast, weren't they? Yeah, I've forgotten the name of like... I think it was like a kind of haven camp thing. He was going like this week. Begins with a... Bluestone? B. That sounds right. Something like that. Nice. Um, should I just make one god hunting rifle, or should I try and split it up and have go, two? Go for one uh, super powerful one, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's fair enough. I think that's a fair shot. Okay. Okay, okay. I think the chances of two people using them at the same time is... Unlikely. Especially at this stage as well, isn't it? I think even till we get a second one. Yeah. Might as well. Enjoy. Right. I'm just going to bin some of this stuff. Um, do we have enough to make a second mini bike, or are we waiting on some other Ooh. bits? Um, so I needed two headlights, and I think I've got two headlights, so it'll just be knocking it all up now, I think. Okie doke. Um, have you read the book? Mm, I think so. Nice. Right. Let's craft these up then. Combine them rather. I'll be able to get a yellow rifle. That'd be nice. I should have. Um, we don't really have repair kits at this stage, do we? I haven't seen any. I don't think John might know from his sorting, but I don't think, I think do. I've seen one. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, yes. Yeah, before you combine things it's usually cheaper or better if to repair them but i just went gung-ho but yeah if we don't have the repair kits then it's what it is spilt milk and what not
What have we got? Six hours or so. Okay. D did anybody need another sledgehammer or anything? Uh, or are we all um, good? I'm all good to be fair. Yeah, me too. Cracking. <clears throat> um, we... Was anybody going to be using a different weapon? Fox, you were going to try shotguns, but... Yeah, I you're... thought I'd um, read the book, but I, uh, it turns out I haven't read that uh, blueprint. Oh, no? Games. The game says I haven't. I don't believe the game, but that's what it says. Lion! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to carry on with the sledgehammer and stuff for now. Until we got yep. a little bit more. It's, a device. it's quite fun using it. <laughs> it is good. Pistol book. Yeah, I'll just take a tiny wee bit of ammo. Just in case to pop some heads. Take um, you happy sort of doing normal sides, and then it, if I struggle, I'll give you guys a shout. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing. We could just sort of see where they end up going, can't we? Because it's possible they might go to your side all tonight. Because I know last yeah. time I felt like it was it kept swapping, didn't it? Yes, it did. It sort of depends. Maybe they'll go to mine and John's side if they if we have more people over there. Yeah, that I go true. towards the threat. Defences look all pretty right. good, to be fair. A few things need rebuilding, but otherwise... So I said earlier and before, it just sort of takes the edge off, doesn't it? Like the spikes. I think this is a... it might help, especially tonight, where there's only yeah. the three of us. We do get a little bit... Overrunning that. Yeah. Shouldn't be the be all and end all, but it's definitely helps I think it's just a lot of the time they come at least with broken legs, don't they? Hmm. Missing an engine seat and handlebars for the bike. Do I have to make any of that stuff? Uh, not an engine. The other two, yes. Okay. Um, you happy making them? Yeah. yeah. What crafting skill does it take into account? Misc crafting? I, I'm pretty sure it's misc, yeah. Um... So I guess it doesn't really matter too much uh, if I craft it, even though my miss crafting is super low. Nah, I think all the would it help if low. mine's high? Mine's like mid fifties, I think. Mm. I think it's just from all the uh, traps. <laughs> um, misc for me is sixty six. Fair enough. Jesus. Um. Jeez. But we can we're, that we're nowhere near end game sort of level six hundred are we for the mini bike? So just craft it whatever. Just don't crash into cacti and whatnot. <laughs> that's a that's a big ask. That is a big ask. Cotton and pipe. Ugh. Yeah, fiddly. 
We should have all the bits and bobs though. I can craft more pipe in the forge, or we can. Oh, I think we should have enough iron pipes dotted around. Yeah. Uh, our friend says bye. Oh, and he was from Sweden, so I didn't see that. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. <laughs> I don't know any Swedish, so I can't. I can't uh, say goodbye in Swedish. Uh, I'll learn that for next time. Um, yeah, we're just sort of like waiting for it to tick down now. Here comes the horde. What time we got? Four hours. Okay. Yeah. Bad. What can I do? What can I do? I'm going to go mm, do something. I'm gonna see if. Oh, I don't wanna reset the. Ah, uh... oh, the trader. I can get there and back in time, can I? I reckon. Yeah, you definitely can do it. Loads of time. That's not a detriment to us as a team if I get caught out there. Oh, he drove into Ashley's bloody hole. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need to make like a, what's the word, like a balcony type thing around it, just so mm. then yeah, like I'll pay attention fence. one minute and then, yeah. <laughs> around any of his constructions. Yeah. Big signs and not safe, Ash making. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Wow. A level 557 claw hammer. Oh, a level 533 mining helmet. Jesus. I'm not impressed. No? Oh, okay. It's not up to your <laughs> fine. Oh, level 405 claw hammer. Is that a little bit better? I don't care about claw hammers. There's loads of mechanical parts. There's 26 mechanical parts, so he'll be kicking himself. Should send him a photo of that, just to wind him up. He was searching for those for ages, wasn't he? That he was, yeah. <laughs> oh, he'll love it. Ooh, the tasting and brewing. Uh, there's nothing of note at the trader. Does anything that I re read out sound interesting? Not uh, to me. Yeah, same really. Okay. Come back there's tomorrow. a shotgun get schematic if you want daily. me to grab that for your fox. Oh yes, else. that that would be useful for me, please. Great. Gratitude and safe travels, friend. Gratitude and safe travels, friend. <laughs> I've been told I need to call it far closer to half ten tonight and not closer to 11. <laughs> <laughs> what a dragon. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me get my orders. Um, I'm just going to put it in the schematic box because that makes sense. That's right. Yep. Right, what can I do in the next uh, one and a bit game hours? I'm just trying to 
work out anything really. There's not really a lot there. No, I've done pretty well. I I could help you with the boxes. I um sorry about that. I um boxes. Massive. Um, I just dumped everything in those chests and then just ran away. I oh, I don't know. We'll sort them out eventually. That's the, if yeah, it's you're a bad person. I am. We'll sort of all night and then we'll start going through it all. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, there is a tasty junk chest though at the end there, isn't there? I can help sort that. <laughs> I'll just wait for the. Oh, I put some old low-level sledgehammers in the forge, by the way. Um... Oh, okay. That shouldn't be a, a big drama. Nice. Oh, someone's cold. I don't think it's me. <laughs> it's always bloody warm. Must be that, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Freezing your nads off. <laughs> oh, and they go you, um, There I go. Yeah. Why would you have to make handlebars and then mini bike handlebars? Is uh, there so, a... Yeah, handlebars also go on chainsaws and augers. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. <coughs> Annoying. Right. Um, we got almost too many American helmets now. American football helmets. There was helmets. quite a few, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop to the toilet for hold night. Ready to go. Refreshed. Enjoy. Ready for the, the carnage. Yeah. I do I yeah. I'm always like split for horde nights. So I want it to be exciting and challenging and things like that, but then also I just don't want to get overrun. That'd be the worst. I think the thing is if we got overrun and then they did do a fair amount of damage. The problem is that I suppose it's the uh, sacrifice in a day or two to get it back to yeah what it was, isn't it? Because, I mean, where do we spawn? We spawn right back here where the zombies are. Yeah, this is something maybe we could look at. You know the houses that are, like, dotted about here? Maybe we could, like, do a secondary kind of thing where yeah. we spawn, like, there and it's already defended. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because like these, there's like a there's a hatch fr hatch frames here. Oh, or not. There are hatch frames on the doors and and the stairs, but it's just like yeah, trying to find the right one, uh, right time, and like make sure you get inside in time. See people. Here we go. Game on. Most of them don't have any legs left, but it's all on your side, John. Oh my god. Oh shit. Is he gonna get in? Oh fuck, he's in. Okay, I got one of the spider ones in with me. Oh shit, I'm in a load of shit already here actually. Okay, one two, one two. Jesus me. Okay. He just literally ran up out the outside. Where, where about? He just seemed to like float around in one of the corners. He didn't really seem to like go on anything in particular. Um... We need to sort that. Yeah, I don't know how he did it. Honestly, absolutely no idea. Have he just ran it like the normal way. Local, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm literally here already. Cool. You, I just don't want the other side to get overwhelmed. Oh, there's literally nothing on the other side. Is that my bag? Yeah. Alright. There's a sledge and I'll get that out. And then. And that's, I suppose, the other issue if they do get in. Um, you haven't got many places to go. <laughs> yeah. Try and quickly run inside the house. And that's where it'd be useful having guns and stuff. Just get, get yeah. into the doorway and then um, try and uh, shoot. Right. Yeah.
you have dirt to repair the floor? Would you like me to find you some dirt? You have to grab it. I was going to ask about this earlier, actually. Is it the dirt fragments you need? The... No. You need to use the recipe on the dirt fragments and make uh, something. <coughs> but, um, ah. I'll, bring okay. you, I'll bring you something to repair it. Because my side's dead. Oh, so I'll grab a little bit of that. Uh, okay, I'll hit a few more and then have a look. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Where is that one? Oh, oh shit. Did you bleed out? Yeah, I think so. I think something yeah. nibbled oh, my ankles. Oh, nice. Well, it's good to know I'm the uh, last one standing. Still going. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. You died tonight, John. <laughs> Didn't happen. <laughs> Prove it. No one think you're getting caught on that ramp over there, isn't it? Yeah, I want maybe we could put a load of spikes all over it. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Maybe we can. Do that. At least then. Get stuck on that. Yeah, that gap in the corner hasn't really worked either. I'm just getting stuck in it. And the trap's mm. gone. I shot loads of things. My skills are never full again. What's this? Yeah, this is quite a quiet horde night, isn't it? Nah, it's not too bad, really, is it? You getting caught on those uh, um, outer spikes. Yeah, it has uh, thinned out the herd a little bit. Yeah, especially if we get a little bit busier, it does help. I suppose at least then they come to us not very uh, mobile and annoying. <laughs> yeah. A bit the, more time. The defences are too good, John. <laughs> oh, it is one. Here we are. Oh, where'd he go? Oh yeah. I see an A there. I do like the burning one. They're pretty cool. Like you said, it's only wondering how we uh sort out from the little spidery one. However the hell he did it. Because he started in the corner where Fox was, then so, moved along a bit, and then yeah. just snake kind of like glitched his way along and then suddenly he was at the top and then in he was in he was. It was really weird. I mean, it could be along the edge of the pole, but then that's pretty unlucky for him to then like jump up and like skip over the uh, the bit that's been removed. Pretty That's the thing, isn't it? He was hard to hit, wasn't he? Is that just me? I should turn in the corner, they're not. Check the other side. Still nothing. 
easy night on this side. Yeah, I think John and I were overdue a uh, busy horde night. <laughs> suppose it doesn't even feel like it's been... Obviously the little spider one at the start that scuppered a few things, but otherwise it's not really been too bad. <sighs> well, it's been good to watch you guys work. Helped a little bit. Ah, uh, so where you've dug the um, hole, John, in that corner, it's it's not going particularly well. There's a nurse who's like in the floor underneath me. Oh. Yeah, under that corner. So I can I can ah, uh, we see yeah. Flip her, maybe. but they're sort of burrowing now. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's what sort of happened. We'll sort that out in the morning. We'll put it yeah. all back together then. Maybe even just building it back to ground level and then putting, not log spikes, but um, maybe those spike sticks or something like that. Could yeah. Be. Unless I do, like we got out the outside, like the actual logs, and then just put a load of spikes around the outside of it on like the corner, unless they can jump that or anything. I don't know. I mean, what was the issue? Is it that they were getting stuck? Because... If they were still hittable, then we could put barbed wire down, which would like it, it slows them incredibly. So yeah, it gives they were you just enough getting time to hit their head. They were just getting stuck behind it, and we were having like loads of them, and they were starting to build up. Mm. I mean, fair enough. That way's definitely not work, but at least we can maybe just fill in and, like I said, maybe just do some spikes and see how that goes. Yeah. Ooh. She's coming. Hmm. Nice. Some of them, when they sprint, to be fair to them, run in like the perfect angle, and then others just get absolutely annihilated when they do it. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to try and make some barbed wire and put it on the top to try and prevent spiders from creeping up. I th it may be not a bad idea, actually. At least then there shouldn't be any other, like, way. Yeah. I think we're, it, we've got the resources as well. You know, might as well double down on making the base safe. Yeah. The yeah, Ash was our concrete man, wasn't he? Uh, um, yeah. We were getting... A way for a lot of concrete. Yeah, but we've got a couple of layers. Oh, we've got we've got the hatches on. If we need to pull back back away from the front doors, we've got the hatches on the stairs, True. which they sort of glitch and don't know what to do with. Then we've also got a ladder onto the roof. If you remember, do you remember the archery, archery sort of um, steps out the back? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that one. Yeah, it was, it That's was a like fair a, point. That's a few layers, isn't it? Yeah, or well, the balcony itself. We can close the door behind us and just sort of pray they don't get through, and then jump off the balcony if they do. It's just yeah, if, just getting these hatches up in time. Yeah, that was the only thing. I know when the spidery thing got on with me, I didn't even have... He basically killed me before I could even do anything. I didn't even realise he was in here too late. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, not very clever, are they? Oh, 
I'm definitely not going out there for those dogs. Yeah, I can see the one stuck on that trap. Well, he was. I think he's going to destroy it the way he's going. Get off my trap. Too powerful to be left alive. Left oh, alive? Fantastic. Oh, that actually really helped, though. Okay. What are you guys watching at the moment? <coughs> Anything good? We're watching Trigger Point? ITV, uh... Yeah, we just finished the first series of that last night. Hmm. There's What's a second which came out recently. It's a bit like, I don't know if you guys have ever watched like, Line of Duty, it's from the same person that did that, but it's all to do okay. with um, like a bomb squad kind of um, a bit of part of the police. It's got a, couple, a lot of the same people actually, to be fair, from that. And Luther, I swear they've just taken out the cast from Line of Duty and Luther and chucked it in this. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, nice. What about you, Fox? Um, no, not much yet. I don't really watch uh, much TV when I'm back here. Um, when I get to the US, then I'll probably sit down and catch up with a lot of series. Amy and I will watch a few. But, uh, I don't know what's on our watch list. We, when I left last time, we were watching uh, Good Omens. Um, ah. Which was pretty good. I was enjoying that. Um, and then we normally go through whatever's on Disney and stuff. Um, like all the. Well, we were doing the Star Wars ones and then uh, normally do the Marvel ones when they come out as well. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, we. Oh, well, no, I watched um, the live avatar thing, and so I've seen all the cartoon bits on Netflix. Uh, the Last Airbender. And I, I quite enjoyed it. I, I like the cartoon as well. It's just an easy watch. <coughs> Uh, it's just like anything, if you make a live action of it, people will start gatekeeping and getting nasty about it because they like the old one. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. I think the, um, so the one you're watching, what is a more recent one? Is it? Uh, Hello? so, what, the an I'm re-watching the animated one, but uh, okay. that's because I have seen now the live action one. Yeah, because I know they released the live action one a few years back and it was just really poor quality in terms yeah. of like the CGI and but I think they were re-releasing a new version. But... Yeah, so that's happened. Um, and I thought it was quite good. They made quite a lot of changes. Um, they weren't necessarily bad changes, I don't think. I just think people get a bit sour, don't they, if it's not exactly the same. But you, how you can be exactly, yeah. <coughs> exactly the same to a cartoon? Like you can't. You just do the best you can. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think they did a good job. Enough job. Right? The actors were more or less spot on and things like that. But uh, yeah, the the cartoon, the animated series, is pretty good. I've gone through the first half of the first series is. Um, very much an introduction, it's a little bit kiddy, and then it gets better, the second half of the first season, and then the second season is good because it gets more involved there's more things going on it's pretty good, more characters and things, and then the third season gets quite dark which is good because mm. they don't need to be happy <laughs> uh, and yeah, and that is I, I do like the third one. 
I say, John, those spikes did very well. I just cleared the bodies up, and there must have been about 20 bodies there. It's mental. That front bit, yeah. I know when, I think the last Horde night was similar. It, it, fair enough, it does get a lot. Definitely thinned out the Horde. Perfect amount of barbed wire. Okay. Oh, fair play, yeah. Barbed wire looks good. Oh. Yeah, I think. This side is taller than the other side, which is an, has annoyed me now, I've noticed it. But uh, it's the same thing, we shouldn't destroy the barbed wire, I don't think. <coughs> but at least spiders now get stuck on it. And they really, really shouldn't be able to climb over. I don't know how that other one climbed over. Yeah, I'll be honest, look at it, because they've done it a million times, and I don't know what he did different. It was no. really weird. It wasn't yeah. like there was any stacking or anything, it was just... He was up and in, I think, and yeah. that was pretty much it. Must just be. By the time I realised he'd done it, because most of them do it, and they just, well, nothing really happens, they just kind of fall over, but. Yeah, yeah he didn't do that. <laughs> Trixie. Trixie Hobbit <laughs> Oh, the laptop's just died. Never mind, no one's, no one's on anyway. So, in the corners, have you already bought up the ground? Yeah, yes. ground's bought up. One thing that's annoying, I've just gone to put the spikes down, I can't put it in the corner. They're obviously like too big for the space, okay. the only thing that will fit is just a little... Oh no, no, so it's this pole. Oh, if we were to destroy the pole... But I, I can do that now. If we destroy this pole, then you'll be able to put it in the corner there. <coughs> oh, and that's what it stuck. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Win. Because I think that, to be honest, will get quite a lot of kills just on that alone, yeah. really. Uh, it's a shame. Uh, can, can you upgrade them to spikes? This is the weird thing with those. You can't really up. You can't. You can upgrade them if you've got iron. <coughs> it's not okay. like you can do it with wood. Okay, I'll, I'll do it with iron. Oh no, no, no! It's not letting me at all. So I think those the 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 spiky spikes that you've got. That's it. They're just wood. Uh, and that's it. Oh, it must have been when I was looking at someone else and it's come up at a similar time. Yeah, that's what you mean now, it's stopping you, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why, but there's a weird wind sound. You guys got had that come through your headset or not? Oh, I can't hear it, but my headset's so. not particularly good quality, so... There again? No. Um, I can no, hear like no. a wind sort of noise, nothing like... No. I'm just getting louder. It definitely sounds like wind, but it sounds yeah, like... Yeah, no, I know what you mean now, I think. Yeah, like, you know, like video game where, wind, where it's like a, you're going through a POI or something, and it's, it's on purpose, if you're supposed to notice something. I think it's like a cave or something underneath the ground where you are? Uh, I was just at base. I don't think so. Yeah, because hmm. I can hear something out and about where I am. You're probably not far from where... It's louder if I go towards the river. There it goes. Oh, bridges. 
and even louder if I go more towards like, the direction of where your uh, like you and Ash's side is. Yeah. Sure, it's nothing. Back to normal now. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Didn't even need Ash. Need to turn the difficulty up. Need to get the Horde Knights on steroids in. Or the Screamer Girls in. Bringing the bears. Pings and stuff like that. What is it eventually we use for that? Because that's one of the only things I wasn't really sure where to put that stuff. Uh, it gets smelted down for glass to make glass bottles. Because for some recipes you don't get the glass bottles back. They are treated as a finite resource. So glass you just smelt down to make new glass jars. Oh, uh, and that's all that's really... Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, nothing. <coughs> Fantastic then. In some ways. No, I. Yeah, if you need space when you're um coming back home, just drop the glass because we can just make sand and smelt the sand. It, oh, it cool. is super duper easy. I don't think the uh, spikes are going to be any good on that corner. One zombie's turned up and already destroyed them. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, not... There's a few more now here, but. Yeah, it didn't last very long at all, considering the cost of them as well. Yeah. Um... Oh, what? Oh, fuck's sake. Stupid crawler got in. How? Why are they getting in? That one just stacked one on top. There was only two of them, and just leapfrogged it. Like, literally, with absolutely no effort. Mm. It was really weird. Got a fair few zombies around again, for whatever reason. They like you. They do. <laughs> Only five or six, but a bit out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. right, nice. There we go. Let's load more clay. Oh, very interesting. Oh, how... Yeah, okay. Okay. Ash... Okay. Ash has made a very interesting decision. He's, um... 
made a concrete tunnel at the end of one of these mine shafts to like protect the exit, the emergency exit, but he's put concrete where we have never been attacked and where we do not stand. Which is in interesting oh. position. Bless him. <laughs> Preventative measures, just in case it ever happens. Say again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you need a hand with the zombies because it sounds very loud? Uh, no, <laughs> no, it's said, not say again. Bad. Yeah, <laughs> I wondered if you said that. Now there's only about three or four. Well, then it's not too oh, bad. Okay. They keep coming in like dribs and drabs. A load of them have got stuck in um, ashes. What's it called? It where the tunnel from um, the mine. That mm -hmm. giant bit. I think it just took them ages to get out of it when they fell in. Nice. They're stuck in Ash's hole. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. I'm underneath that hole or very near to underneath that hole. Maybe they're getting drawn by me and getting stuck in there. You know what, actually? That could well be it. Is it an issue? <coughs> Not really. Should I come help clear on this? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, I've only got like, one left now. It's really not too, too bad. I think it was just why, why there was a bit of a delay with them. If anything, actually, it might have helped. It wasn't like 10, 15 in one go. It was more like six and then another six. Nice to meet. and she's just had a dream but she proper like snarled and we went <laughs> I don't know what she's dreaming about because she's not an aggressive dog <laughs> you thought any more about a dog son? I think when one of us changes jobs or whatever, I think we will. Yeah. Just that initial start. It's not so bad when you've got a while or whatever, it's just where definitely nine hours. Yeah. Mm. When did my dad say he retired? When he able to for like a couple of weeks, that might help a bit. But. Yeah. 
And they, they, once they get a bit older and they're able to hold their bladder and all that sort of stuff, they do get used to it. And it's just oh, does part of their routine. I think this is it. It's just getting through that. that it's that start, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck! That's, it's just I've just went. been attacked. <laughs> I've got zombies down here. Oh, they actually borrowed their way. Oh, yep. shit. God damn I mean, it, they have not trying to stopped. kill me. They haven't stopped coming to the bit where I am, but I didn't really be able to get where you were. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool, eh? Yeah, there's a few zombies here, okay? Yeah, okay. Well, I was kind of hoping that they would kill you before I arrived. Yeah, I know, right? We're in your perfect record. No, that's it now. We, we've reached a point in the game where I don't need to die anymore. That's, um... Annoying. Ash trying to kill me when he's not even online. <laughs> Luckily there are crawlers. I don't know what's going on up there. Yeah, just... It's been weird, this one. Like It's like permanent after the Horde nights. The whole day, there's... Some here, isn't there? Coming in and drips and drabs. Makes it easy and manageable and stuff, just a bit weird. Amount of iron down here as well. He was on to something. I'm going to call it up, well, when everybody's ready, really. Um, um, I'm just sorting yeah, through, the, uh, through the shocking parts. Yeah, no, like, immediate, immediate rush. You have 35 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time. When you got like an infection in the bottom left, don't be afraid to um, use the antibiotics because with the chem station we can just craft our own now. Oh, that's quite handy actually. Yeah, so oh, just cool... grab them whenever you need. Oh yeah, what do you need for it? Mouldy bread, nitrate powder. <coughs> 
Yeah, it's quite cheap. I think we should have like a million of all those. I think multi bread's probably the hardest one for us to. Yeah. Yeah, we've um, got six multi bread. Uh, this you can make mold bread from the sham sandwiches as well. Oh really? I mean, to be fair, we got a shitload yeah. of those. So yeah, nearly 150. It's 10 for one moldy bread, then one moldy bread for uh, antibiotics. So we should be sitting pretty for that. And then I'll, I'll have a look at fertilizer and stuff next time. Start to make a farm for meat stew because that would just help our wellness so much with the um, yellow tea. Stick some cobble. I'll put a chest out the front door as well for some cobblestone for repairs. It's all coming together. And it is. Say goodbye to my friends. Oh, isn't she nice helping helping me by setting a reminder on my phone? <laughs> what would I do without her? One of you's starving. Like I said, it's not me. Food's not that oh, yeah. big an issue these days either. Not really. Yeah, that was me. I'm down to ten. Ten food. Got carried away just getting into my shotguns. <laughs> How's the thinning out going? Is it going well? Oh, wow. Yeah, you're doing well. I made a shotgun, but the best I can get is 294. Well, just combine a bunch. A long, yeah. um, a big shotgun, right? Not a shorty. Well, I made a shorty because I wasn't sure what was best. I was going to see which one I prefer. Shorties but... can't use oh. slugs. Can't use uh, slugs. Can't use slugs. Do we have any slugs? We have a handful of slugs, and slugs go... It's just like a, uh, a hunting rifle, then. Um, but then you can still get the shotgun short range ability. I think, I don't even know if there's a difference with fire rate. I don't know, mm. I'd have to look it up, but again, the wiki's not too good. So I was thinking, I'm probably going to be, it's going to be like a last resort kind of thing, pulling out the shotgun. Yeah, bang, 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 down it and run away. Yeah, so I was thinking with the shorty then, like... They're probably going to be up close, so I'll just whack it out and probably won't need a long barrel. Nah. But I don't know. Do it. Take it, Brandon. Crack him. I'll say when. Oh wow, that was loud. That was definitely <laughs> noticeable. <laughs> I was just trying it out. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm going to go over. Yeah, nice. The GG. That was pretty successful. Yeah. Did quite a lot. Got through the horde night and all set. Pretty much all set up just to get through that night and then away we go for the yeah. next turn. Fox, are you sad you didn't die any more times? Um, I'm sad that I died even the once. It was only the once, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just a yep. sneaky, sneaky little hand through the railings. That's that's what got you, wasn't it? It was just a base on Horde Night. Yeah, I got caught by a dog. Oh. Maybe bleed. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cracking. GG. Well. Hope you guys have a good Easter, and we'll see it'll be a couple of oh, weeks. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah. have a good time with uh, all the Irish. No, yeah. will do. Thank you very much. No, hope you guys have a couple of weeks too. Happy yeah. Easter's. Catch you later, everyone. Bye. Bye.